After a three-hour wait and three types of COVID tests later, at the Medival test site in Santa Rosa, Kendra Nice got the results she wasn't expecting. Each time came back with a different result. The whole thing seemed off to me. When her husband, Jacob Medina, received his test results, he noticed a pattern, which also meant their vacation plans were over. The couple screenshotted their test results from the Medivolve website and shared them with us. It came back positive and then it said positive negative and I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. Confused, their family quarantined for 10 days, but now they want answers and are questioning the accuracy of these tests. We retested a week later at a different site and came back negative. They were writing on napkins. I'm like, that's not professional, first of all. They shouldn't be with a Sharpie on a napkin. And they're like putting a napkin with our, all, our, all our information on it with a sticky note attached to a vial that they snap off and after they do the swab. According to the Santa Rosa Press Democrats, California's Department of Public Health is investigating the two Medival COVID test sites in Sonoma County and urging residents to get their tests at other sites. I think someone needs to come in and kind of just oversee what's going on. Sonoma County does not have a direct agreement with Medivolf. And according to the Press Democrats, this county has not received any test results through their system from this company since May. In a statement, Medivolf apologized to any disappointed customers and said in part, Antigen rapid testing can produce different results depending on the quantity of COVID viral particles detectable at that time. That is precisely why we insist on all three tests to be taken by any of our customers, because just taking the antigen test could lead to a false negative for this reason. Medivolve also said they are unaware of any investigation by California's Department of Public Health. They said they are committed to fully cooperating and providing any additional data that's needed. They also emphasized the importance of all three tests together, saying, quote, all three are the most reliable way to assess someone for COVID-19. In the newsroom, Luz Peña, ABC7 News. All right, Luz Peña, part of our vaccine team. Many thanks to you.